On Saturday at 6.20, it's party time at Crinkley Bottom. I shall be hosting a great house party this Saturday. We've got Richard Digence in the old house, NTV out and about. Gary Lineker's getting a gotcha. And it's my party and I'm the boss. Isn't it great to know you're in control? How did, how did you do that? At 7.15, the generation game. I think you've got fallen arches. <laughs> Then at 8.15, the farmer's violent actions highlight the problems for casualty. No intensive care bed? What are we doing wasting our time here? And at 9.25, in a town called Perfection, strange creatures lurk beneath the sand, and they're very, very hungry. Tremors. Now, this valley is just one long smorgasbord. We have got to get out. Thrills of a different kind at 11 with all the action from the Premier League in Match of the Day. Saturday evening on One. Now, before Grandstand, a look at what the weather has in store for us with Bernard Davey. Good afternoon. We've seen a lot of rain recently, especially last week, where some places have had two and a half times their normal rainfall for this time in November. And that's certainly going to make the underfoot conditions very soft, very soggy up and down the country. And imagine a lot of the football matches around locally, a Saturday and Sunday, are likely to be cancelled. But hopefully it doesn't affect the main fixtures that we'll be watching on BBC One this afternoon. The rugby at Twickenham between the Australians and the Barbarians. And not a million miles away, the horse racing at Newbury. Both places dry, bright, uh, some sunshine, but the cloud will be spilling in all the time from the southwest. Top temperature around about 10, fairly light winds. And on the satellite sequence, we can see that cloud pushing into the southwest. That'll be bringing some rain, perhaps even a bit of sleet and snow over the high ground of southwest England and Wales at first before it turns milder. And then after the Atlantic, we've got another band of cloud that'll be bringing some heavy rain into the west later tomorrow and strengthening winds too up to gale force. Here's the first little uh, feature that will be bringing the rain to the south, and then as that moves away northeastwards tomorrow, the cold front will bring the heavy rain later. And the isobars, I think, say it all, the wind's increasing all the time. They're fairly light at the moment around the ridge of high pressure, though fairly brisk in northern Scotland, and then watch as they freshen up from the southeast ahead of the cloud and rain, go around to the milder southwest, and then they'll southwesterly spread in across the whole of the country, though they'll still likely to be strong to gale force southeasterly in northern Scotland during tomorrow. So for today, most places dry, bright, some sunshine, some showers around over northern and western Scotland, even right down into central and southern areas, the odd one clipping parts of Northern Ireland, and the thicker cloud getting into the southwest, perhaps bringing the old spot of rain into Cornwall during this afternoon. And the showers continue to die out in the extreme north of Scotland, I think by this evening mostly confined to the Northern Isles. Staying dry for the most part, the thicker clouds spilling into the southern counties with some rain into parts of South Wales and right down across into Dorset. Top temperatures today likely to be 10 or 11 in the south, around about 7 to 9 in the north of Scotland. Now tonight, anywhere from the Midlands through East Anglia northwards, likely to have clear skies and a frost, icy patches on untreated roads. The south seeing thicker cloud and some rain, and as I mentioned earlier, perhaps a little bit of sleet over the high ground at first before it turns milder. Tomorrow, in the north and east, starting off fairly bright, the thicker cloud and rain spilling in from the southwest, and then the heavy rain getting into these western areas, into Northern Ireland and western Scotland later tomorrow, and everywhere turning milder. That's it. On BBC Two now, Ben Johnson and Ward Bond embark on a perilous cross-country journey in the action-packed John Ford Western Wagon Master.